This is Caravan Salon. This is the 2020 range from Frankia. This is their Platin Integrate 7900 plus Platin motorhome. Costs 160 and a half euros. Well, that's the kickoff price. This one is 190 nearly. 190,000. 814 centimeters long, 230 wide, 323 external height, five and a half tons. Uh, it's uh, standing height 203 and it's got um, well it's got two seating sleeping places really and two belted positions although there it's claiming four now um, this is Frankie's version of Heimer's dual mobile uh, Cartago's liner for two although I've got to say that uh, Frankie was doing it before Cartago started to do it it's much more expensive than the Cartago version uh, the original was actually uh, thought of by friends of mine, uh, Lothar and Heidi. Lothar's an engineer, and so he's uh, really the uh, ambassador for Humor Heimer uh, with uh, this uh, vehicle. You've got, or this design, I should say. There you've got the bed which comes down. Uh, you sleep up front uh, because the idea is that you're either driving or you're sleeping, but you're probably not doing both at the same time I suppose to a certain extent it makes sense uh, in this case it's on a Mercedes um, uh, chassis and uh, actually we can to a certain extent compare it indeed to the Cartago which is probably now the uh, don't know market leader is the right word but it's or maybe there's more dual mobiles sold it was originally put in a death lefts vehicle and you can still see it actually the Grand Alpa and uh, but the the layout is really the same it's in three bits you've got the uh, living bit down there you've got your washing and toilet bit here in the middle and up front you've got your sleeping and driving bit that's the idea and indeed also you can divide it all up there we go bit two and bit three are separated and here we do one and two are separated. Well, it comes across nice and easily. I hope it doesn't rattle when it moves, though. So that's the idea. Carter goes introduced this thing uh, where you've got an office here. Um, I'm, I'm sure Frankie will be doing that as well before long. Now, if I look at this here, the bit at the front, I'd have to say that first of all. Um, I do appreciate the, uh, personally, I mean, that's me, I don't know anything about design, of course, and I certainly don't claim to, uh, but uh, to have the, the dashboard and the sideboard down there the same colour, because that sort of integrates everything. Alternatively, you might take the view, well, the bed's down anyway, you can't see what's going up here, unless you're actually driving, and if you're driving, it's clearly a vehicle anyway, it's not a home. So, uh, yeah, that, that would be an argument, okay, if you follow the idea, what I'm trying to say from that. I notice here also the Aldi heating, is uh, there you go down here as well? You can have actually you can have it uh, um, uh, electrical heating as well as an option to the uh, the system it's using here. I'll do which is on gas. You can also have it on diesel as well. Okay, now some have this as a dressing room uh, and other other brands. Here it's not enough. I think if you've got a dressing room, you're going to have somewhere to dress, which means that's where your clothes are stored. Uh, you might of course, keep these clothes in some of the uh, drawers down here, but it's more likely to be in this thing here. Oh, a lot of light in there. It's so white, it looks like a pantry even. And being next to the fridge, that perhaps is understandable. This fridge uh, opens two ways, it opens like that, or like that. Um, you've got uh, in the UK, uh, you can have a, a different layout. You can have the steering wheel on the other side, right hand drive, and you have the, therefore, it's a mirror image, and the, uh, the door obviously is going to be on the other side as well. And if you are going to do all that, you can have up here. A, um, 
a microwave should you want. I certainly wouldn't want one. Anyway, right, you've got a second television here, and this is around this rather nice uh, seating and large seating group should you decide you want to sort of sit there and uh, watch the television or something. Here you can see the difference, however, from the Cartago, uh, quite clearly the Cartago having on the right, where I am standing now, at the kitchen, and a uh, more 270 degree um, almost complete circle even I should say because this is getting on for two, well it's 180 degree, but 270 degree couch uh, this uh, elongated 180 the uh, addition of all this extra uh, standing height uh, gives the uh, real feeling of light look at the, also these big uh, roof lights Now the, the Heimer Duo mobile, I need to point out actually, it comes in a version which is uh, much smaller than this as well, shorter. So it'll be easier to drive and therefore park. Driving isn't the problem, parking the thing is. That's my opinion. Uh, large, uh, what's this called? Sideboard? I don't know. Backboard? I don't know. You put plants and things up there. Probably draw them as well. Yeah, but sitting here, what really, really, really stands out is the light which comes in from above. And, and we're in a hall here, uh, and uh, I've got some uh, lighting there. But this, this, oh, it's, it's, that, that's something which is great. Um, now this uh, table sort of moves around. Oh, sorry, I didn't show you. Table moves around in all directions. I think. There you go. Although in my opinion, it could be a bit bigger. Sit here and watch the television whilst eating at the table. Uh, there's carpets on the floor here at the moment. These aren't the carpets to come with. These are carpets to protect it because this van has to be sold. So they have to, to protect as much of it as possible. That I understand. But uh, if you're in the UK, again, this UK pack includes a carpet. You can have a carpet put down should you want. Two hobs. Let's have a look at this. Uh, when the smoke was introduced by Newsman Bishop in 20, 2016, somebody said to me, you can't call that a line it, it's only got two hobs in the kitchen. I do appreciate that uh, uh, most of us uh, probably don't use more than two and uh, you know, demanding three. And uh, you think, well, okay, you're living in a van, then maybe, or you're using a van, the whole point of van is to a certain extent is on downsizing, to a certain extent. But, 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 I would have to say also, in something of this nature, I think I can see the point why this is a very big van, and I can see why you'd uh, want to put in three. There's a rubbish bin. Carthag um, Car yeah, Cartago is doing exactly the same thing. Rubbish bin there. Well, I really like I like the layout. I think the layout's great. Although I think if it were my choice, I'd probably. Um, well, I would suggest you also had a look at the other the other brands that I have mentioned. Heimer. Cartago. Deathlifts is an overcab version, so it's not it's not quite the same thing. A Concorde do something like this as well. And Concorde, like Frankia, is a company which uh, manufactures to order. Actually, to a certain extent, just about every company manufactures to order now because there's such a waiting list. There's no there's no uh, uh, building 
on uh, on spec. And I think now we'll we'll find someone wants to who buys this van once it's sold. This van here, if somebody will order it first, they'll come to do like this and they'll order it. Right, I'll turn the lights off and work out the it. Oh, I don't bother turning the lights off up here. That, that's got a delay, I think, on it. I think. Okay, so what do you think of this one? Do you think it looks nice? Or what? Yeah, we'll have a walk on the outside, and you can see what you think. I do. I find. I do find the uh, uh, the base layout of this uh, an attractive proposition. And somebody said to me, "What van would you take?" I mean, one of them's always been at. Oh, maybe the Duomobile from Heimer. Uh, for me personally, this is it's it's far it's far too long. That's. I mean, I couldn't drive it. I think you know this. 814 centimeters in length is really is really pushing it. Okay, right. So if you found that uh, of interest, you might want to uh, subscribe to uh, my account. And if you find any use in what I do, uh, you might want to actually uh, give me some support on Patreon. And there's a link which has just appeared. Or oh, one of them has, anyway. Okay, thanks for watching.